far away in the cold arid highlands of western Tibet, to the east of the sacred lake Manasarovar, a mighty river is born. This river, destined to flow through some of the most diverse terrains in the world, is the Brahmaputra, one of the longest and most dynamic rivers on earth. Known as the Tsangpo in Tibet, the Brahmaputra originates in the Chemayungdung glacier, nestled close to the Manasarovar lake. From here, it begins its journey eastward, winding its way through the Tibetan plateau, the highest and youngest plateau in the world. For a major part of its course, the Brahmaputra flows outside India, moving eastward across Tibet in a relatively straight path. This is the river's upper course, where it cuts through a cold, dry and desolate landscape, far removed from the lush greenery it will later embrace. But then, something extraordinary happens. Near the eastern edge of Arunachal Pradesh, the Tsangpo takes a dramatic U-turn, plunging through the world's deepest gorge, the Yarlung Tsangpo Grand Canyon, before entering India. Now in India, the river is called the Brahmaputra, which in Sanskrit means son of Brahma. It first enters Arunachal Pradesh, where it roars through rugged mountains, collecting the waters of its tributaries, the Dibang, the Lohit, and the Kenula, adding to its mighty volume. From here, the Brahmaputra calms slightly as it descends into the plains of Assam. It spreads wide, sometimes over 10 kilometers across, nourishing the fertile Brahmaputra Valley, a lifeline for millions of people. In Assam, the river becomes a symbol of life and livelihood. It sustains agriculture, provides water for irrigation, and supports rich biodiversity. But it also brings devastation. Its yearly floods are both a blessing and a curse, depositing fertile silt but often displacing thousands. Along its course in Assam lies Majuli, the world's largest river island, cradled by the Brahmaputra. A unique cultural hub, Majuli is slowly eroding, victim to the river's relentless changes. The Brahmaputra is joined by many tributaries on its journey. Among them, the Dibang River is the largest left bank tributary, while the Subansiri River is the largest right bank tributary. After crossing Assam, the Brahmaputra turns south and enters Bangladesh where it merges with the Ganges. In Bangladesh, it is called the Jamuna and eventually joins the Padma, as the Ganges is known here. Together, the Brahmaputra and Ganges create the world's largest delta, the Sundarbans Delta, before finally emptying into the Bay of Bengal. This delta is a treasure trove of biodiversity, home to the endangered Royal Bengal Tiger and vast mangrove forests. At 2,900 kilometers in length, the Brahmaputra ranks among the longest rivers in the world. What makes it unique, however, is not just its length, but its character. A river of contrasts, from tranquil highlands to turbulent gorges, from sacred origins to destructive floods, from spiritual symbol to ecological giant. The Brahmaputra is more than just a river. It is a journey of geography, culture, life, and time. It carves valleys, sustains civilizations, and shapes destinies. Truly, the Brahmaputra is the son of Brahma, but also a mother to millions. If you found this video helpful and informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Insight Daily for more such content on history, polity, and geography. And if you have any doubts, suggestions, or happen to notice any mistake, feel free to drop a comment below. I'm always open to feedback and happy to improve based on your input.